Hello, this is Joe Neville and in this series of videos I'm going to be setting up an Aruba lab. I need this lab for myself and I thought I would record videos as I go. They're going to be pretty uh, rough and ready um, but hopefully you'll get something out of it and if you don't then hopefully I will in the future when I look back and see what I've done. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do first of all is I have a Windows Server 2016 set up and I'm going to turn on Hyper-V. So everything that I'm going to build with my lab, I'm going to use that server as the baseline uh, virtualization platform rather than using ESX. And then I am going to build on that ClearPass and then I'm going to build a uh, Windows Server probably 2019. I'm going to set up an uh, Active Directory domain controller, uh, a CA, and then I'm going to set up EAP TLS using Aruba Instant 8.4. This is all future stuff. I'm going to build it as I go. So um, let's just jump into the first uh, task, which is to log into my Windows Server 2016. So I should say I'm recording this on a Mac because it's a bit easier to record and edit and then I'm going to be remote desktop desktoping across to my Windows server. So we'll connect. Here we are. So I installed this today um, on, on my server, uh, so on, on the uh, Metal, and it is 2016 with the latest updates on it. I'm using 2016 because it says in the ClearPass release notes that that's the supported uh, Hyper-V platform. It did take a lot of time to update this today. Uh, with my, my internet connection is not too bad and it took about two hours to, to update this thing. What I've also done is I've turned off the internal firewall so I can ping uh, the server and I have put an IP address on this device. Um, so it's got a static IP on it already, which is, you know, really important uh, for your fundamental baseline servers that you're going to have in your lab. I'll show you what it is then. So I do find the window, I've been using Windows quite a lot, but I do find the menu system and how to find various things like control panel still a bit of a mystery. Um, I'm no expert, but I do know the, the um, basics of how to get around. So uh, Windows Server 2016 standard there, I've called it Hyper-1, okay? Um, so, and yeah, so it's 1607. I've installed all of the many, many updates that wanted to go onto this today, right? Um, so... What do we do? Let's go. I'm not, like I say, not a Windows expert at all. So I know a bit of PowerShell, but uh, I'm not going to be using PowerShell for this. Like, uh, it's going to be quick and dirty, rough and ready. I'm just going to use the GUI uh, to get this going as quickly as possible for me. Um, so we go manage, add roles. I'm going to do role based insta installation there. So, this is my local device. Yep, so that's the IP address that I put on it. It's uh, 192.168.2 slash 24 is a subnet, and I've called this one dot two. The domain controller is going to be dot one. I know I'm not using IPv6, I've been doing a lot of IPv6 last year. Um, that's because I'm not exactly sure about how much of the solution is fully supported. Uh, a lot of it is, I know, but I'm going to build that up. So I'm going to go V4 to start with, then dual stack it. And then I'll start turning some V4 off and see how far I go uh, with that. So that's all a learning process. Right, Hyper-V is what we're going to... I did that too quickly, didn't I? Right, so here we are. Select server roles. This is just going to be my Hyper-V um, server. So I hit that. Add features. Good. Uh, this kind of thing is pretty slow. So if there's any uh, long pauses, I will stop and skip ahead. So I'm hitting next, next. Okay, good. Next, right. Uh, I'm not going to reserve that for now. Let's see if we're okay. Allow this server. I'm not going to hit that. It's pretty basic stuff. I'm going to allow it to restart. So we'll go for the install. Right, so that's starting the installation now then. And I'll probably skip ahead now until we are back. 
Okay, so we are back on our server and I remote desktop in the server manager dashboard opened up automatically. And as you can see over on the left here, we've got the Hyper-V label. We've got this warning here, a flag, but it's just saying that the installation has succeeded. Okay, okay so we go to Tools, Hyper-V Manager. So this opens up the manager view. Um, here is from here you could manage multiple servers. I've only got one server like I said This is essentially going to be like my baseline virtualization server. So we've got hyper one there No Virtual machines found on this server. Okay, um, so what I want to show you is the switch manager now this is interesting for your initial setup. So here you can create your um, virtual switches. So this is your networking out to the rest of the world. So if we, what I do is I create a virtual switch there um, and I'll call it ethernet. So I've only got one NIC on this server on the actual uh, physical hardware. I'll call this ethernet. Okay, and that's the that's the nick that's on there. Allow management operating systems to share this. Yes. Now, here's something that's quite interesting. If you wanted to send VLAN tag traffic by default off of this server, you can enable it here. So uh, by default, of course, the server will send untagged traffic. Um, but if you wanted to connect your server, like your physical server, to a trunk port on a switch, this is where you would enable it. So you enable there and you can enter the VLAN that would be used by the uh, operating system to send its uh, traffic. So this would be VLAN 2. Now I'm just going to send untagged traffic. So I untick that. OK, but this can be uh, useful if you're using uh, a bit more involved networking out to the rest of your network. I'm not for this basic setup at the moment. OK, so I'm just going to apply there and create that one. So that will be you. So for the virtual machines you configure against the virtual machines the vlans this is for the main os so this server would use this vlan that you um, set up there the vms when you create the vms then you set up the vlans that you want to use i'm going to use vlan 5 i think for uh, my setup Okay, so that's it for the the basic setup there. Like I said, I'm going to keep these videos short. That's mainly because I don't have any subs on this channel, so they have to be short videos. Okay, so that's it for this video. Pretty short and sweet, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, in the next video, I'll be installing ClearPass as a VM on that uh, Windows server. Uh, please do leave a like, leave a comment, etc., etc. I'm going to post this to my own channel because it is pretty uh, rough and ready. Uh, I normally post to with my colleagues to the Airheads Broadcasting Channel. Link on screen at the moment for that. Uh, so please do check out that channel if you haven't subscribed over there. Loads of great content, and there's a whole workshop of ClearPass install, loads and loads of uh, great Aruba and other uh, content on there. But for now, my name's Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.